We wouldn't be here without Miracle Flights. We've flown to Shriners, Philadelphia so many times, uh, it wouldn't be possible without Miracle Flights. We wouldn't be able to do any of this without Miracle Flights. Flying for Your Life spent time with three little girls from different parts of the country, all afflicted with arthrogryposis. It's a condition that causes stiff joints and abnormal muscle development. For kids like Olivia, Delaney, and Melanie, it's known as club feet. With the doctors that we were seeing before, um, they were happy to put her in a wheelchair and just say, well, you know, just that's just how she's gonna be. And we didn't wanna settle for that. We wanted the best. Although they have differing degrees of the condition, they all found one of the few doctors, Dr. Harold Von Bosa, who gives these kids a chance because they inspire him. The children would always surprise you. You do a little something for them, you think, ah, this is going to get them standing up in a brace, and they start walking their brace. They go, well, if I can straighten out their hips, I might be able to get them up stand up a little bit better. And you do that, and suddenly they're cruising all over the place. And you would just, every time you did something, the child that you were working with would take a little bit further and you'd realize that they had a whole lot more potential than we were uh, considering that they had. We have some of these children that uh, the first time we see them we know they're going to be a good walker. We have other ones that the first time we see them they've already come with a number of opinions that they're never going to walk and so it's our, uh, our goal then to prove everybody else wrong and get things into a position where they can walk. The, uh other doctors there said, oh, she'd never walk, and her legs would never be straight, put her in a wheelchair, and Dr. Vambosi's like, oh, she's gonna walk. Part of Dr. Vambosi's treatment is casting to keep the joints in alignment. It means a lot of casting, getting them out into a good position, holding them with braces, and realizing that oftentimes they will recur and we just need to do more casting. The worst part is removing the cast. Don't worry, Olivia is just frightened by the mechanical saw sound and vibration. Within minutes, she is okay. Is he holding your hand? What you got? Being measured for her new cast and plastered up again. Oh, now we have short casts. We certainly uh, are very blessed and very excited with the amount of kids that do well. Uh, where kids come back walking and it's like they were always meant to walk and you go back to their baby pictures and you're just amazed at how much of a change has happened. Uh, so it does work. We do get them up walking. The hospital, one of the few to treat this condition where Dr. Von Bosa is located, is nowhere near where any of the girls live. That's where Miracle Flights comes in. The great thing about it was that we still had the continuity of care because we came to Shriners in Philadelphia. So even though we were moving all over the country, our doctor got to stay the same. I wanted her to have someone that um, that knows what they're doing and, and the best way to do it. The condition occurs in one out of 3,000 births, so the need for miracle flights only increases. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're getting children from all over the United States, uh, a lot from the West Coast, uh, and they would not be able to make it here if it wasn't for organizations like Miracle Flight. Uh, the costs are involved with these frequent visits they have to do for the casting, for example. Uh, they're coming here on a weekly basis or they're coming here for a number of weeks at a time but still have to get home from time to time. Uh, it would be prohibitive uh, if they didn't have an organization that was helping them. The most heartbreaking thing is when you get somebody from across the country who goes, I can't get anybody to treat my child here. Uh, this is a video. Look at them. They're, they're walking on their knees. I think they can do more, uh, but we don't have a way to get out to you. And that's where it's, I, it's, we're so lucky that we have organizations like Miracle Flight who can get the kids out here. Next week they're taking the cast off, we'll have a brace. And then this one has six weeks more and it'll be off and we'll be walking. Besides flying families on more than 85,000 flights covering more than 45 million miles, Miracle Flights also brings these families together as a community. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Moms Katie and Alyssa meet here in Philadelphia for the first time in person, although 
they became fast friends on social media. It's more like a family than it is just friendships. It's you, you entrust each other with some of your, I mean, deepest feelings, some of your biggest worries. Mm -hmm. So even things that you can't take to your family, you can right. take to each other. They also meet up with Becky, whose granddaughter Melanie is also there for treatment. Miracle flights, in this case, flying so these kids can walk. You can make miracles like this come true with your donation of $29. It gets a child 100 miles closer to desperately needed treatment. $450 buys that child a round trip ticket. It's easy to be a miracle maker. To learn more about donating, go to miracleflights.org. Thank you, Miracle Flights. For Flying for Your Life, I'm John Daly.